Goys, Conor McGregor, Roy return at UFC 300. He hasn't won a fight in 10 years. Oh, I want to see Conor McGregor so bad. Oh, oh, he's got so much power in that left hand. It's like dynamite. And you saw how we did against Khabib. Khabib is crazy good. And Conor McGregor went to the fourth round. Conor McGregor beat Eddie Alvarez seven, uh, no, eight years ago. Whoa. Conor's the goal, guys. Conor must come back to headline UFC 300. We must see him take on Nate Diaz because, uh, 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 I don't know why, because it sells pay-per-view. Even though Connor hasn't sold any pay-per-views in 2022 or 2023, trust me, he's going to sell 2 million buys. He's going to sell over a million buys no matter what. Oh, oh, wait, no one cares about Connor? No, that's not true. Oh, wait, people do care about Connor, unfortunately. I'm fucking sick of it, guys. All right, it's getting old. It's getting old. I don't want to see this guy headline UFC 300, even though so many casuals want to see him headline UFC 300. Conor McGregor doesn't deserve to headline UFC 300, and especially if it's against Nate Diaz. I don't even want to see the Michael Chandler fight. I don't want to see him fight ever again because I'm sorry, but he's not going to win any fights anymore. You know why I know that? Because of all the interviews he's been doing, because of the way he's been looking, because of everything. Uh, his last performance against Poirier was trashed, and his fans tried to cover up, like, oh, he was doing good against Poirier, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, it's the first round, and he broke his leg. We see what, what happens when people break their legs. They're never the fucking same. But, yeah, Connor. oh, man. <laughs> Connor's unbeatable, guys, when he comes back. He's going to... He could be top 15 guys still, guys. Come on, he's not, he's not that much. He could still be like... He could, he could still be like Charles Oliveira, guys. Like, shut the fuck up. Okay, at the end of the day, Conor McGregor is one of the most glorified, most overrated fighters of all time. I don't understand why people give him so much respect in terms of his ability. He literally has two really good wins and nothing else. I mean, I guess barely being Diaz is a decent win. I guess, you know... Poirier even back in the day was a decent win but uh, other than Jose Aldo who rushed in like an idiot uh and Eddie Alvarez who's he beating Cerrone uh yeah welcome to the party I think every single one of you could beat Donald Cerrone at this point okay I don't understand what beating Connor even does for your fucking legacy anymore it just makes you look like a bitch even taking a fight with him but whatever take the fight make the money but I'm just saying Connor McGregor is a joke at this point and I don't want to see this dude headlining UFC 300 not only has his fighting skills gotten worse but his trash talking has gotten way worse as well I mean don't get me wrong, it was entertaining, but you could tell he's not confident. There was an interview where he was, like, complaining about the UFC throwing him to, like, these tough fights. Like, they should build me up. They should build me up, man. They should build me up. Like, uh, you don't do this to the big stars. Like, dude doesn't even believe in himself. I don't want to see this dude ever fight again. Uh, I'm sick of him. I'm sick of his fans. Listen, I don't I don't have anything against him. I just, I'm sick and tired of this guy's, uh, how people look at him and how he can still compete at some high level if you give him, like... What are people talking about, guys? This guy is completely washed up. He looks like a mess. And I am sick of his fucking fans acting like... I mean, so many people keep overrating him and acting like he was... You know, oh, this dude could have been a three-division champ. Oh, well, he this. Well, this, that. Well, he had one really good performance against Eddie Alvarez and his other performances, although were decent, were never all that good. Let's be honest. The only really good performance he had was Eddie Alvarez. If you want to... Uh, you can't really debate me on that other than Aldo, which... You could say the Nate Diaz second rematch was a good performance, but I wouldn't say it's a good performance because you barely beat Nate Diaz. You should dominate Nate Diaz. Look at what Benson Henderson did to Nate Diaz. Look at what RDA did to Nate Diaz. Look at what uh, a lot of other people did to Nate. Nate's decent, but not world class. I'm sick and tired of this. That was in 2016. The fact that I'm even bringing that fight up as some sort of relevant fight shows you how inactive and how washed Conor McGregor is and how he doesn't deserve to headline UFC 300. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go live and I'll see you there. Peace.